From the spherical marvels of the Moraki boulders in New Zealand to the mythical landscape of the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, each destination promises a spellbinding experience. Join us as we explore the illuminated galleries of the Reed Flute Cave in China and stand in awe before the towering monolith of Devil's Tower in Wyoming, USA. Venture to the enchanting hills of Bohol, Philippines, where the chocolate hills beckon with their otherworldly allure, and witness the surreal beauty of the world's largest salt flat, Salar de Uyuni in Bolivia. Traverse the ancient stone labyrinth of the stone forest in China and marvel at the whimsical formations of fairy chimneys in Cappadocia, Turkey. Embark on an underground odyssey through the Puerto Princesa underground river in the Philippines and behold the undulating sandscape of the wave in Arizona, USA. Prepare to have your senses ignited and your perception of the natural world forever changed. The Moshraki boulders, situated along Kokohe Beach on New Zealand's Otago coast, are renowned for their remarkable size, shape, and composition. These spherical formations, varying from 0.5 to 2.2 meters in diameter, captivate visitors with their unique appearance and geological significance. Composed primarily of mud, silt, and clay cemented by calcite, these boulders have undergone millions of years of formation and transformation. Initially formed within Paleocene mudstone, they were gradually exhumed by coastal erosion revealing their spherical cores. One of the most striking features of the Meraki boulders is their septarian concretions, characterized by large cracks filled with calcite. These septaria, which radiate outward from a hollow core lined with scalenohedral calcite crystals, contribute to the boulder's intricate patterns and textures. The process behind the formation of these septaria remains a subject of debate, with theories ranging from differential cementation to fluid flow patterns. Despite the unresolved nature of their formation, the Moraki boulders hold immense cultural significance. Local Maori legends attribute their origin to the remains of a wrecked sailing canoe, imbuing them with mythological and historical importance. According to these legends, the boulders represent the petrified remnants of eel baskets, calabashes, and kumara washed ashore from the wreck of Arituru, a large sailing canoe. This oral tradition adds layers of meaning to the boulders, connecting them to the cultural heritage of the region. Documented since at least the 19th century, the Moiraki boulders have long fascinated explorers, scientists, and artists alike. Walter Mantell's 1848 sketch provides a glimpse into the past, showcasing the boulders in a more numerous state. Today, they continue to attract tourists from around the world, serving as a testament to the enduring power of nature's geological wonders. As both geological marvels and cultural artifacts, the Moiraki boulders stand as a testament to the complex interplay between natural processes and human imagination. The Giant's Causeway, an iconic natural wonder, comprises around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns formed by an ancient volcanic fissure eruption around 50 to 60 million years ago during the Paleocene Epoch. Located in County Antrim on the north coast of Northern Ireland, it spans approximately three miles northeast of Bushmills. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986 and a National Nature Reserve by the Department of the Environment for Northern Ireland in 1987, the site has garnered international acclaim. Ranked as the fourth greatest natural wonder in the United Kingdom by Radio Times readers in 2005. The basalt columns, predominantly hexagonal, but also featuring four, five, seven, or eight sides, rise as high as 12 meters, with the solidified lava reaching thicknesses of 28 meters in places. Owned and managed primarily by the National Trust, the Giant's Causeway is one of Northern Ireland's most popular tourist attractions, drawing over 998,000 visitors in 2019. Geologically, the site's distinctive formations resulted from the cooling and contraction of lava, which fractured horizontally, leaving pillar-like structures known as basalt columns. The extensive fracture network created the characteristic stepping stones leading from the cliff foot into the sea. These columns offer insights into the volcanic activity that shaped the region and have been recognized for their role in the development of volcanology as a scientific discipline. Legend attributes the formation of the causeway to the Irish giant Fionn Macomhale, who purportedly built it to challenge the Scottish giant Benendoner. 
The site's mythological associations, coupled with its geological significance, have contributed to its enduring allure. Despite controversies surrounding the visitor center's content and design, the Giant's Causeway continues to captivate visitors with its breathtaking beauty and rich cultural heritage. The Reed Flute Cave, nestled in the enchanting city of Gilin, Guangxi, China. Aptly named after the reeds growing outside, which locals fashioned into flutes, this natural wonder is more than just a cave. It's a palace of natural arts, a testament to the marvels of time and nature's craftsmanship. As you venture into the depths of the cave, prepare to be awestruck by a mesmerizing array of stalactites, stalagmites, and intricate rock formations that have been sculpted over millennia. Each formation seems to tell a story, whispering secrets of ancient times and the forces that shaped them. But the magic doesn't stop there. More than 70 inscriptions, etched in ink and dating back to the Tang Dynasty in 792 AD, adorn the cave walls, bearing witness to its enduring allure throughout the ages. Rediscovered in the 1940s by refugees fleeing Japanese troops, the Reed Flute Cave has long been a source of wonder and inspiration for travelers and locals alike. As you journey deeper into the cavernous expanse, vibrant hues of multicolored lighting dance upon the natural canvas illuminating the cave's hidden treasures with an ethereal glow. Names like Crystal Palace, Fishtail Peak, and Dragon Pagoda evoke visions of mythical realms, each formation a testament to the rich tapestry of Chinese folklore and legend. Among the wonders lies a giant stalactite, rumored to be the legendary magic spear of the Dragon King, wielded by the revered monkey king Sun Wukong in the timeless Chinese epic, Journey to the West. It's as if the very essence of ancient tales and mythical prowess permeates the air, inviting you to embark on your own journey of discovery and imagination within the hallowed halls of the Reed Flute Cave. Devil's Tower, also known as Bear Lodge, rises majestically from the rugged landscape of northeastern Wyoming, casting its iconic silhouette against the sky. This monumental butte, possibly lacolithic in nature, stands as a testament to the enduring power of nature's geological forces. The name Devil's Tower originated from a misinterpretation during an expedition led by Colonel Richard Irving Dodge in 1875. Indigenous names for the monolith include Bear's House or Bear's Lodge, reflecting the rich tapestry of Native American cultural beliefs and legends associated with this sacred site. Geologically, Devil's Tower is a marvel, composed of porphyritic phonolite intruded about 40.5 million years ago. As magma cooled, hexagonal columns formed, some reaching up to 600 feet tall. Over millennia, erosion from rain and snow has exposed more of the tower's structure, revealing its intricate formations to the world. Climbing Devil's Tower has become a popular pursuit, with hundreds of climbers tackling its sheer rock walls each summer. However, its sacred significance to Plains tribes, including the Lakota, Cheyenne, and Kiowa, has led to debates over climbing access. A compromise was reached with a voluntary climbing ban during ceremonial months, demonstrating a delicate balance between cultural preservation and recreational activity. From its inclusion in popular culture, such as the iconic film Close Encounters of the Third Kind, to its designation as a National Historic Landmark, Devil's Tower continues to captivate the imagination and inspire awe in all who behold its towering presence. The Chocolate Hills, a geological marvel in Bohol, Philippines, are a sight to behold, captivating visitors with their unique landscape. These hills, numbering between 1260 to 1176, dot the countryside, resembling chocolate kisses when the grass covering them turns brown during the dry season. Symbolizing abundance, they are proudly featured on the provincial flag and seal, embodying the natural treasures of the region. Formed over millions of years, these conical karst hills are made of grass-covered limestone, rising as high as 120 meters above the surrounding plains. Their origin is attributed to the dissolution of limestone by rainfall and erosion by surface water and groundwater, creating the distinctive cone-shaped hills interspersed with flat plains, caves, and springs. Tourism plays a significant role in the Chocolate Hills story, with two hills developed into tourist resorts offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. However, challenges arise in balancing conservation efforts with tourism development and resource utilization. Conflicts emerge over land use rights,
quarrying activities threaten the natural vegetation, and debates ensue over the management of this national geological monument. Despite these challenges, efforts are underway to protect and preserve the Chocolate Hills. Designated as a national geological monument and proposed for inclusion in the UNESCO World Heritage List, they enjoy legal protection under various legislative measures. However, ongoing disputes over land rights and resource utilization underscore the delicate balance between conservation, economic development, and cultural preservation in this iconic Filipino landscape. Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat, sprawls over 10,000 square kilometers in southwest Bolivia. Nestled near the crest of the Andes, formed from the remnants of prehistoric lakes that vanished over 40,000 years ago, the Salar is now coated with a thick salt crust, hosting a pool of brine rich in lithium beneath. Its remarkable flatness, with elevation variations averaging just one meter across its expanse, makes it an ideal site for calibrating Earth observation satellites' altimeters. Moreover, after rainfall, a thin layer of water creates a vast natural mirror spanning 129 kilometers, transforming the salt flat into the world's largest reflective surface. Beyond its scientific significance, Salar de Uyuni serves as a crucial transportation route across the Bolivian Altiplano and a vital habitat for flamingos. It also stands as a climatic boundary, limiting the movement of clouds from the humid eastern side to the drier western edges, near the Atacama Desert in Chile. This unique landscape has attracted filmmakers, with movies like Star Wars The Last Jedi, utilizing its otherworldly vistas. The Salt Flat's economic importance is underscored by its vast lithium reserves, estimated at around 7% of the world's known resources. Plans for lithium extraction, however, have been met with resistance from locals concerned about environmental degradation and the equitable distribution of wealth. Meanwhile, tourism thrives, with visitors drawn to the region's stunning natural beauty, unique wildlife, and attractions like the Train Cemetery, where abandoned locomotives evoke Bolivia's industrial past. Despite occasional challenges and incidents, Salar de Uyuni remains a mesmerizing testament to the Earth's geological history and natural wonders. The Stone Forest, also known as Xilin, is a captivating geological wonder located in Yunnan Province, China, approximately 90 kilometers from Kunming. Encompassing an area of about 500 square kilometers, these striking limestone formations resemble a forest of stone, with tall rocks emerging from the ground like petrified trees or stalagmites. Since 2007, parts of the site, including the Naigu Stone Forest and Sogei Village, have been recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites due to their significance within the South China Karst region. The Xilin National Scenic Area is divided into seven distinct scenic areas, each offering unique features such as the greater and lesser stone forests, Jiyun Cave, Dadishui Waterfall, and picturesque lakes like Lake Chang and Lake Yue. These formations, believed to be over 270 million years old, are the result of limestone weathering and the shaping forces of wind and water. Geologically, the stone forest area was once a shallow sea, with sandstone and limestone deposits accumulating over millions of years. Subsequent uplift and erosion sculpted these formations into their current awe-inspiring shapes. The limestone pillars, extending as far as the eye can see, have become a major attraction for tourists, both domestic and international. The flora within the Shilin Karst area includes various forest types and plant communities, ranging from evergreen broadleaved forests to deciduous broadleaved and subtropical needle-leaved forests. Additionally, the region holds cultural significance, as legend has it that the forest is the birthplace of Ashima, a beloved figure in Yi folklore. Annually, on the 24th day of the sixth lunar month, the Yi people celebrate the Torch Festival with traditional dances and wrestling competitions, adding to the cultural richness of the area. The Stone Forest stands as a testament to the Earth's geological history and cultural heritage, inviting visitors to marvel at its natural beauty and explore its fascinating features. Hoodoos, also known as tent rocks, fairy chimneys, or earth pyramids, are remarkable geological formations created by erosion. Typically found in desert regions, Hoodoos range in size from human height to towering structures exceeding the height of a 10-story building. These formations are characterized by their tall, thin spires of rock, 
formed over millions of years as a result of alternating layers of hard and soft rock being eroded at different rates. The process begins with a thick layer of relatively soft rock, such as mudstone or poorly cemented sandstone, being covered by a thin layer of harder rock, like well-cemented sandstone or limestone. Over time, cracks in the resistant layer allow the softer rock beneath to erode away, leaving behind towering columns of the harder rock topped with protective caps. These formations are found in several regions worldwide, including the Colorado Plateau in North America, the Badlands of the Northern Great Plains, and locations in Turkey, Armenia, France, Japan, and Serbia, among others. Each region has its unique geological and cultural significance associated with hoodoos, contributing to their allure as natural wonders. Weathering processes such as frost wedging and chemical erosion from rainwater play crucial roles in shaping hoodoos, gradually sculpting the rock formations into their distinct shapes over thousands of years. The erosion caused by rainwater, particularly in areas with slightly acidic rain, further rounds the edges of hoodoos, giving them their characteristic lumpy profiles. Despite their vulnerability to erosion, hoodoos continue to captivate visitors with their striking beauty and geological significance. The Puerto Princesa underground river located in the Philippines is a natural wonder renowned for its stunning geological features and rich biodiversity. Discovered in 2010, explorations revealed a hidden world beneath the surface, including a second floor with small waterfalls, a towering cave dome, rock formations, and diverse marine life. The river winds through a 24-kilometer-long cave system, with an 8.2-kilometer underground section navigable by boat. Designated as one of the new seven wonders of nature in 2011, the underground river has garnered international acclaim for its exceptional beauty and ecological significance. Its inclusion in the list underscores its importance as a global natural heritage site. Geographically, the park boasts a limestone karst mountain landscape, with the cave containing numerous chambers adorned with stalactites and stalagmites. The site represents a vital habitat for biodiversity conservation, with a diverse range of forest formations supporting over 800 plant species, including endemic trees like the Dao and Apitong. The international recognition of the Puerto Princesa underground river highlights its significance as a natural wonder and underscores the importance of conservation efforts to protect this remarkable ecosystem for future generations. Despite some controversies surrounding the voting process, its inclusion among the new seven wonders of nature serves as a testament to its outstanding universal value and global appeal. The Wave is an iconic sandstone rock formation nestled in the Pariah Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness of the Colorado Plateau, near the border of Arizona and Utah in the United States. Known for its vibrant colors and undulating forms, the Wave is a popular destination for hikers and photographers, offering a unique and breathtaking landscape. The Wave's geological significance lies in its exposure of large-scale sets of cross-bedded Aeolian sandstone showcasing rhythmic and cyclic alternating grain flow and wind ripple laminae. The thin ridges and ribbing within the sandstone result from the differential erosion of these layers, offering a glimpse into the ancient desert landscapes of the Jurassic period. Due to its fragile nature and high visitor demand, access to the wave is strictly regulated. A daily lottery system allocates permits for up to 16 people or four groups, while additional permits are available online four months in advance. Visitors must navigate the desert terrain carefully, following a guide sheet provided by the Bureau of Land Management, as there are no marked trails leading to the wave. Despite the challenges of reaching the wave, its artistic significance and natural beauty draw visitors from around the world. Photographers seek to capture its striking colors and forms, making it a must-visit destination for landscape enthusiasts. As a testament to its allure, the wave has become synonymous with the American Southwest's mesmerizing scenery, attracting adventurers and artists alike to experience its timeless splendor.